Okay, so the final group of nouns in Latin is the fifth declension. The fifth declension, like first declension, has only one set of endings. Like first declension, almost all nouns in the fifth declension are feminine. There's only one exception to this rule, dies, dae, meaning day, which can either be masculine or feminine, is the one exception. Okay, so let me just uh, write down a few main points. Uh, one set of endings um almost all feminine and finally the exception to this is ds d a e and that actually can either be masculine or feminine. It's just one of those strange words, which can go either way. Um, so as always, I'll start out by giving you some dictionary entries. And actually, the fifth declension nouns are pretty rare. So don't get too caught up in um, the fifth declension. I mean, you, you should learn it, but it's not as important as definitely the third declension and first and second. Okay, so here are the endings. Um, I'll draw my chart first, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative, singular, and plural. And there's my chart. So the endings are S, A, E, A, E, M, A, and then the plural is S, Aram, Abus, S, Abus. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and decline uh, the word res, meaning thing. And it's actually probably the most common fifth declension noun. Let me, here, I'll do it towards the side. And I will give you the dictionary entry. So it's res. Rei, feminine, thing. Okay. Singular, plural. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add the stem to what we already have. Let me delete these um, little dashes. Because if you can tell from the dictionary entry, the stem is actually just an R. So, uh, hold on one second. So those are your endings, and I'll add the R in the different in the different color, just so you still have the endings um, at your disposal. So all you have to do is add an R: res, ray, ray, rem, ray, res, rerum, rebus, res, rebus. So there you have it, fifth and final declension. Next up, I'll give you a review of the key points about nouns, and then it's on to verbs.